You know you're the enemy, yes. You don't know that, do you? I bet your black ass doesn't even know there's a war going on. Memo, National Security Council. The minority has adopted an almost military posture to gain its objectives, which are not clear to most Americans. When that emergency comes, and emergency is also capitalized, we must expect the total involvement of all 22 million members of the minority, men, women, and children, for once this project is launched, its goal is to terminate once and for all the minority threat to the whole of American society and, indeed, the free world. Its goal is to terminate, once and for all, the minority threat to the whole of American society and, indeed, the free world. Combined Memo, Department of Justice, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Central Intelligence Agency. There are 12 major minority organizations, and all are familiar to the 22 million. All organizations and their leaders are under constant 24-hour surveillance. The organizations are, one, the Black Muslims, two, Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, or SNCC, three, Congress of Racial Equality, four, the Uhuru Movement, five, the Group on Advanced Leadership, or GOAL, six, the Freedom Now Party, seven, United Black Nationalists of America, eight, the New Pan-African Movement, nine, Southern Christian Leadership Conference, 10, the Urban League, the National Urban League, excuse me, 11, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, and 12, the Committee on Racial and Religious Progress. Note, at the appropriate time to be designated by the President, the leaders of some of these organizations are to be, are to be detained at critical hours. All other leaders are to be detained at once. Compiled lists of minority leaders have been readied at the National Data Computer Center. It is necessary to use the minority leaders designated by the President in much the same manner in which we use minority members who are agents with central and federal, that of course uh, interrupting refers to the CIA and FBI, and we cannot, until there is no alternative, reveal King Alfred in all its aspects. Minority members of Congress will be unseated at once. The clock is ticking, son. You have no time. The U.S. government now laying out its legal argument for killing American citizens overseas without a trial. But what about targeting people on U.S. soil. Can they now kill American citizens inside the country? <laughs> the head of the FBI, when asked about that on Capitol Hill yesterday, stumbled around on this. Does that only apply to U.S. citizen that's overseas, or does that apply to U.S. citizen that's here? As well? I'd have to go back. I, I, uh, I, I'm not certain whether that was addressed or not. So that you, we have clarity here, he is not certain whether it was addressed, whether our government can kill our own people inside our own country. This really needs to be addressed? We can't just answer this question? No, the government doesn't kill our own people. We have a process for this. It's called the justice system. 
you file charges, you lock them up, you try them before a jury of their peers, and then that's how... They don't kill our own people! Judge! You, the question is, can they kill our own citizens inside our own country? Well, the answer, this is a question we have to ask? It's, it's not a question that we should have to ask, and it's not a question that she, he should have evaded answering. I think he probably knows that the answer is no, but he doesn't want to frustrate his bosses who articulated just two days earlier that the answer is yes. Because at a speech on Tuesday at Northwestern University Law School, the Attorney General of the United States manifested extraordinary ignorance of the Constitution of the United States and said, suggests that the president can kill anybody he wants outside the United States if that person is dangerous, if that person has committed crimes, and if it's impractical to arrest that person. Not in the opinion of a jury, but in the opinion of the president and some secret advisors. The Constitution says to the contrary. The Constitution says if the government wants your life or your liberty or your property, it has to articulate to a jury what law you have violated and prove its case beyond a reasonable doubt to that jury. It's called due process. Without due process, the government could take anything it wanted and kill anybody it wanted. And Attorney General Holder ought to know that. I suggest that Bob Mueller does. And the reason he evaded that answer is because he wants to keep his job. Well, you heard what Eric Holder said. He said there is due process, but there is not due juris something or other. Judicial process. Not judicial process. What the Attorney what? General said, let me make his argument. His, yeah, argument, his argument is that there is a substituted form of due process that if the president and his advisors carefully consider the danger of a human being and conclude that that human being needs to be stopped before that person causes any more danger, then the president can kill him. That's their argument. There is no case law that stands for that. There is no statute that authorizes it. And it directly defies the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution. Sounds like a crime against humanity. What's the difference between that and what Bashar al-Assad is doing to his own people? What is the difference? Nothing. What's the difference between killing somebody, an American with a drone in, in Yemen and killing an American with a drone in Peoria? Nothing. Right. The, same argument that Eric Holder made at the uh, Northwestern Law School on Tuesday uh, about uh, Awalaki in Yemen could be made about somebody in Peoria tomorrow. You make an illegal lane change in Hollywood on the 101 freeway and a drone will just shoot you out of the sky and throw you, you know, bury you. Well, I don't know that it's going to I don't, I don't know, know either, but who'd have thought we'd ever that. get to here? Who, who would have thought that we'd even be having a conversation like this? That the attorney, that the head of the FBI would hesitate to answer a question that is so imbued in our history and our law and our values, due process precedes punishment, that he can't answer that in public. And we're worried about contraception. Uh, correct. Correct. We do not have our priorities straight. The last time the federal government claimed that it could kill Americans was in the Civil War. And even Lincoln said it could only be done in during combat. This federal government, this administration, says it can kill Americans when they're riding with their children in a car in a desert. I don't know, Judge. Thank you. You're welcome. Keep watching them, please. Of course. Thanks for having me. You know who the enemy is. You don't know that, do you? I bet your black ass doesn't even know there's a war going on. But I'm not talking about the war on crime and drugs. I'm
people 